Hey, what's good, family? In this video, I'm going to talk about how to incorporate the MPC swing into your Logic template. So if you found this video, I'm pretty sure you're pretty much aware of what the MPC swing is and what it means to music. So, okay, what is it? The, the MPC swing, the mythical MPC swing, it was created by this man, Roger Lynn, who is responsible for designing and building some of the most iconic devices used to make hip hop the MPC. He originally made the Lynn drum, the Lynn 9000, and the MPC 3000, and all the MPCs that followed thereafter yeah he he disassociated himself with the with the with akai the brand at some point i think after the after the 4000 but with that being said a lot of the iconic hip hop was created with this machine so it has this this legendary reputation and a lot of people feel that it it has some type of a, a magical essence about it but he'll be the first one to tell you that there's nothing really there's no there's no secret mojo going on it's it's just some math equations and some percentages he is the one that originated it but he'll be the first one to tell you that there's nothing super magic going on and the swing that the NPCs are responsible for can largely be achieved with pretty much any modern DAW, whether or not you believe that or not, it's true. So, but why would you want to, if that's the case, incorporate the NPC swing into your DAW? Why even bother? Well, for one thing, me personally, I'm, I'm a little old school. I, I grew, I, I don't say I grew up, I, I started out with uh, NPCs. I've, I've owned a 3000, a 4000, very familiar with how they work how they sound, how they quantize, how they swing. So when I dial in, for example, uh, 57%, I know pretty much exactly how that's going to sound, and I'm pretty familiar with that. So with that in mind, I, I kind of want that same type of convenience, that, that same type of famili familiarity within my, my DAW, since you know I've, I've, sold, I've since sold my NPCs. I don't use them anymore. I do miss them a little bit, but... It's just the, the workflow uh, is just it's just not convenient. So, but yeah, so so I can show you in my template. This is my machine logic template that I've made, and as you can see, I have down here at the bottom all the MPC swing settings readily available at my fingertips. So, with that being said, how is it done? It's a very straightforward process, but if you if you're to if you want to do this by scratch, it can be somewhat of a laborious process because you have to import each small MIDI file in by hand. And I've tried it. Maybe if if you guys know of a better way to do it, but I've tried it, and it seems to be somewhat of a a, a very labor-intensive process. So uh, what you what you can do. So if you're not familiar with Go Baby, this this dude makes some pretty incredible sounding stuff. He's he's pretty legendary in the game. And he's generous enough to offer a bunch of free stuff on his site. But at the bottom here you'll see the MPC60 uh MIDI groove templates. Now I downloaded this and I tried to create some templates and I ran into somewhat of a problem. And maybe it's something I did wrong, but you know it's it's a pretty straightforward process. But what what I found out was that uh, some of the percentages worked. Some of them did something really wacky to the to the MIDI file. So I had to uh, to scrap that and start over with a different set of MIDI data. So I, I had uh, some old stuff lying around on my computer that contained the. Uh, the original MPC swing uh, template. So I wound up using that. And what, what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to make everyone's life easier. Trust me, it's, it's just easier to do it the way I'm about to show you. 
you can just import this logic session data into your into your template into your session and incorporate the swing data like that so how, how is it done without further ado let, let me show you so what, what I'm going to do I'm going to close this and start with a blank slate so here we have a empty session so I'm going to make this file available either somehow I'll, I'll post a link or you can email me and I'll, I'll down I'll, I'll, I'll email you the link to it so what you're going to want to do is the file that I'm going to make available you want to download it somewhere on your computer then you want to go to file import logic projects you're going to navigate to this file that I'm going to send you. It says MPC 1K Groove Templates. Now once you do import, this window is going to open up on the on the right hand side here. And the only thing you're going to need out of here is this first one. It says Grand Piano. Don't worry about that. Just click on where the check bar check uh, box where it says contents click down here on add and you'll see this piece of MIDI data so do yourself a favor do not double click this trust me on this I know some of you are gonna do it anyway but let me tell you what's gonna happen all it's gonna open up 30 additional MIDI tracks and you cannot undo this these things you do not need so just trust me you don't need to do it everything you need is within this little piece of data right here so once you have that, make sure it's highlighted. And look over here on your, if your inspector window is not open, just you know click your eye right here. It'll open up, open up your inspector. Navigate down to where it says quantize. At the bottom where it says make groove templates, you click that. And if you go back into your quantize you will see as if by magic they are all here all the necessary and needed MPC quantize settings so now what you can do from there is just save this as a template and just add anything else that you might need for your workflow so I'm going to close this Go back to mine. New from template. Yeah, so this is this is my machine logic template, which I have gone over in another video, so you might want to check it out if you get a second. And also, I've made this template available. If you guys request it, all I was asking is for a very meager 99 cent donation just to cover my time. Uh, all of you that have supported this and ordered the template, thank you very much for your patronage. I truly appreciate it. So yeah, but as you can see, this, this template has a very nice setup for machine and also contains all of my MPC settings and it has some nice routing options some things that I'm always going to use uh, within every such session which is of course reverb delay so I, I, I was reading a little bit about templates and like there's some, some guys out there some pros they're making very complicated well I wouldn't say complicated but they're, they're incorporating a lot of uh, things into their into their template such as like pre pre-made drum patterns like if you make if you make EDM and you know it's going to be four on the floor they're including that data already but I, I prefer to, to keep my template as minimalist as possible just my because my, my, my reasoning is you know it's, it's like you know when Picasso created a painting he, did, he didn't start with a template like he didn't start with a, a canvas with a, a background on it which he just added to he just he started with a blank 
slate, a clean canvas, and he created what came to his mind. So that that's kind of how I like to approach every every song. Everything is every every project is different. I don't want to get into a routine or rut. Uh, even though there are some things that we we commonly use, which you know are the things that I've tried to include within my template. Oh, this one thing I wanted to also add that I forgot to show you back on the other template, but I'll, I'll just show you on mine. So up here where you see the H, it's just it's for hidden tracks. So the track that contains your swing data, you don't ever have to look at it. So you might as well just just get it out of your life. So you just click on it and you click high track. Uh-oh, I hit the wrong thing. Yeah, so, okay, I hope I didn't confuse you with that. But just, yeah, you click hide. You don't ever have to look at it. Get it out of your life. Keep your workspace as clean and as simple as possible. So, yeah, so I hope you found this information useful. Like I said, I'm going to post my email address if you guys are interested in this template. It can be yours for a very meager donation of 99 cents or more. But yeah, so that's basically it. Thank you very much. Please subscribe if you if you get a chance. And also a thumbs up if you liked the video, if you found it useful. Thumbs down if you think it sucks. No problem there. But uh, yeah, so now if you don't know, now you know.